Hey, what's going on guys? Just wanted to give my honest review of this Kubota SVL 75.3. Bought it probably about a month ago. Put like 10, 11 hours on it. Doing a bunch of stuff around the farm, mostly trail clearing, millings, snow plowing, a little bit of everything. Uh, I'll be using it for, got a pool install, got a couple house builds going on. So we'll get a lot of use out of this year. Um, so yeah, I mean, the pretty much, the reason that I went for the Kubota, number one reason is the cap. It's probably about the same as most people. Um, I like the room of it. I like, I really like being able to run it open. Um, a lot of times I'm getting in and out a lot on our houses when we're doing grading and stuff like that. So that's a really nice feature. Um, the room inside of it, I actually went to McGrew's auction up near us and sat in every one back to back to back. Cat, John Deere, Bobcat, um, a JCB. JCB obviously has, you know, the best cab if you want to be able to move in and out and bunch of room. But I felt like I want a little bit more protection because I'm working a lot in the woods a lot. To me, the open glass of the JCB. And then I had heard they're a little down on power because of their weight. So I did a lot of shopping around. Um, I was really sad on getting a used one. I just like getting a good deal. But then when you look at the prices of these used things, the hours on them, how beat up they are, and the price of a new model, I almost think it's worth it. And then the interest rates they're giving right now. And also, I think the 75.3 update is a big update. Full enclosed cab, uh, reverse blow fan. This is all clean back here. You can get to everything gas being on the back door i did get the reverse blow fan and honestly i was it hasn't been working but that's because i didn't have the rpms up high enough for it to kick on so just worked it out. um yeah no complaints so far i actually i'll attach or i'll put in some pictures the first dealer i dealt with i got delivered because i was waiting on to get my new trailer to actually haul it with and they delivered a skid steer that was all dinged up on the back right here it's like four spots had a big gash right here and um had a lot of back and forth they tried to hide it with touch-up paint the gash on the right was bad they tried to claim that was chains it was way up here there's no way it could have been from chains so um pretty much yeah had a terrible experience them trying to hide it not really making it right um, so I ended up sending that one back and going to a different dealer, Bayside Kubota, which is in Maryland, near me. Um, and they were great. They were awesome. Hooked it up. So I returned that one, got this one of the same week. So kept it rolling. And I know it's like a really small thing, you know, it's going to get scratched up, this and that. But it's a brand new piece of machinery. I just don't feel like it's right taking something that's all beat up already before I get it. Yeah, I'm going to get it in the woods. Yeah, I'm going to scratch it up. But... To me, it's the principle of the matter that, you know, delivering something like that all messed up is just not right. So anyway, once I got it, I absolutely love it. It's been great. Um, I was kind of thinking about the 97 too, just because horsepower for digging foundations and stuff like that, if I use it for that, I'd probably want that. But for me right now, this is a good machine. Um, it's strong. We got big hills around here. I'm pulling stuff up it. It does pretty darn well. Um, the maneuverability in the woods is really nice. The backup camera on this update's huge. I really wanted a backup camera for safety and everything. I've got a six month old, he's gonna be running around. I don't want him behind me or something like that. So um, yeah, I mean, all the updates made me go with the 75.3 and made me go with the new interest rates that you could get on them, pretty, pretty good. And um, yeah, so the cab, if you wanna look around in here pretty roomy i'm 6'2 so when you get in it is a little bit you know until you put this down but then you're golden what's wrong click this you can put up your 50 passcodes it was real nice if you have a company with a bunch of different operators uh for me it's mostly going to be me in this thing so you don't need all that but just fire her up. Screen's pretty nice. 
I do kind of like all the tech in it. All the buttons you see here. Let's you roll and turn the hydraulics on. Heat. Everything's just pretty clean in here. I couldn't stand. I can't stand foot controls, hand and foot controls. I want pilot controls. So much easier. I like having the foot throttle. I use the foot throttle a lot. It's probably why the reverse blow fan wasn't working initially because I don't run on full foot throttle all the time, which I know you're supposed to with these, but I just like when you're in tight spaces using that foot throttle a lot. Um, yeah, and you can hear how quiet it is in this thing. I have, actually have the window open. Really quiet, which is a nice feature. I'd run a 75 too. They can be a little loud as I'm sure most people know. Full touch screen. Um, I'm actually waiting on the Telemax to get in, which that'll link to that Kubota app on your phone and then give me the whole rundown. Um, show everything that's going on in it, but it's pretty nice. Let's see that. You got all your vitals right here. Press home. Maintenance. Tell you when everything's due. Duty log. This can show whenever it's run. And it was pretty funny when they delivered that beat up one from the other dealer. He said that it was the same one that I had run and looked at. And I actually called him because I looked in this duty log and it hadn't been run on the day I was there looking at the thing. So just stupid. And I didn't expect to get the exact one that I test drove, but that was pretty funny that that duty log that's in here that shows every day, how long, what it's been doing. Is how I caught the salesman in a lie about that. So just stupid scenario, but got your music, Bluetooth. I got linked to the phone. I'll put up some GoPro stuff. I moved a bunch of big trees. I caught a few days earlier, so don't mind the shorts because I did everything outside a few days earlier. Just shooting this little review right now. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about it or anything you want to know, just, you know, comment below. Um, I'm not really a YouTuber, but you know what? We do a bunch of fun stuff on the ranch. Um, I train horses, run beef cattle, race off-road in the desert. So I might just put up some videos and stuff like that. And I, this is a review I wanted to have when I was looking for it. Um, I'm sure everybody has brand loyalty, this and that. I'm not a Kubota, you know. To me, their tractors are always have been overpriced to me. We always run John Deere's. I got a New Holland now. So I run a little bit of everything. We make, this is our hay field. Make all the hay for the horse and cows out here. Um, I've always needed a skid steer, and now I finally was able to get one. Um, I love it. I love running it. It's so easy to do all this stuff. I mean, that New Holland, we have the, what, the 75. It's great. It's it's real light up front. I had about 100 trees I took out when I built the house and wanted to take out some trees, and I probably had I probably have had 15 to 20 flats on the front tires of that thing. It's just a little light, and they just, you know go flat a lot if you put some weight in that load so this thing on tracks is freaking awesome for me to have around here um yeah i made sure to go with the high flow reverse blow fan i just like that when you're working in the woods you get some stuff up top here it just blows it right off but even with that shield you probably don't need it um i just for the price i was like might as well get it it's it was like barely any difference and then the high flow i might want to run a mulcher which I to me you can in this 75.3 everything I've seen so um yeah got the high flow for that and a few other things you know that I might want it for um yeah Kubota for the price too is just it's a good price point cats you know I've run a ton of cats Taguchi's um Bobcats I ran a SVL 70 65.2 and a 75.2 65 was just a little light um, for what I want it for. Um, so this ended up being the perfect, you know, middle ground for me. Um, yeah, sorry. Losing my train of thought here, just kind of staring out. But, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, so far, this thing's been amazing. It's got the wide tracks on it. I honestly like the tread pattern. It's doing fine for me. It's a swamp around here right now. All the snow melting. We've gotten a ton of rain working in these trails. It's pretty swampy and these things have pulled me right through it. Um, yeah, be, be doing a bunch of digs with it this coming year, grading, excavating, 
uh, millings, a little bit of everything. So I'll have an auger for it so we can do fencing a lot easier because putting it on the back, putting the three point hitch on the back of that new Holland is a pain in the ass. This thing just running fence posts with the front there will be awesome. Um, anything in the cab that I can think of. The lights, LED lights all around are awesome. I was working the other night in the woods and it was pretty sweet. It lights up pretty good. Um, lifting power's been great. Power's been pretty darn good. I mean, on this hill coming up here, you can kind of feel it, get to the top. If I have a load, I kind of got a zig. But, you know, for what I want right now, it's perfect. And, you know, hopefully they'll update the 97. By that time, maybe I'll have grown out of this. But for right now, this thing is awesome. Um, yeah. So, I mean, for the price point, a cat, you're going to spend a lot more money. I don't know. I just, I don't like the cat. Just simple as that. I like being able to run with this open um, all the time in the summer. I just like having it open. You know, it's pretty dangerous where you work in the woods. I don't do it with stuff like that. But if I'm just moving dirt or something like that, it's nice. I was pulling some poles the other day. I had to get in and out to pull them with, by hand and move them out of the way and this and that. And it was easy. In and out, in and out. No problem. Get the fresh air. <clears throat> and then if you have a load, like something stupid, I was lifting Christmas decorations in my garage up in the attic. And I literally couldn't have done it in another skid steer that did, did not have a door that opened. Um, I had to get out go up on the ladder as I had the load lifted up to put up in the attic. And with another skid steer, I wouldn't be able to do that. I couldn't have opened the door. So, yeah. I mean, there was a lot of complaints about, you know, how they lock and this and that. This one, obviously, is tight right now. We'll see how it holds up. But to me, that seems like they fix those issues. Just some more stuff around the outside, guys. I ended up going with a tooth bucket. I'll get a smooth bucket. I can even use my New Holland uh, smooth bucket from the tractor. Wide tracks. Easy to get in these things and clean them. That was a big thing for me. Obviously, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff to get stuff in there. Cats, you know, I know they've updated, but the ones I was looking at used that, you know, I didn't really want to spend a new cat. I know on the used ones, they have all the hydraulics exposed in there and stuff like that. I mean, it's just, I don't like breaking shit and being down because it's not like I have a bunch of other machinery to jump in. This is kind of, you know, what I got. So I need it running. Um, look in this engine compartment a little bit more. It's just clean. Get to your filters easy. Batteries right here. I mean, I don't know what... All the tractors and everything I've been around in my life, there's something more, you know, convenient to get into and work on. Pop this. That pops up. What about the exhaust fan? You gotta pop that off. Gas in the rear helps with your weight when you're when you're lifting. Gives you some more weight in the back. And I probably will put some weights on the corners. Just haven't gotten around to it yet. Your backup camera. 
been lucky enough I haven't hit anything yet. It's funny with the backup camera, looks makes everything look a little closer than it is, which is good. You're almost more cautious than you normally would be. But uh, yeah, full lights on the back. I should get this thing tinted. It's, it should be on the list. I, don't, I hate doing tin on my own, but I might have to. Or haul it up somewhere. All the grease fittings are really simple, which is what I like. Um, hydraulic. Attach, quick attach is really nice. LEDs all wrap around the front. Got the high flow going. The room in here, I still got all the plastic and stuff on it. At least they move the windshield wiper fluid from there behind your head to here. <laughs> Big improvement. I mean, everything has its issues, but so far I've absolutely loved this thing. We're gonna beat the hell out of it all year. And uh, maybe I'll do another review and update how it's been going. But so far, so good. All right. So, yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little rundown of what I've thought of the Kubota so far. If you guys are in the search for it, you know, I'm not telling you what to buy. I'm just saying that I really, really like this skid steer. It's pretty great for everything I need it for. Um, it's quiet. Runs great. The cab's really comfortable. All the tech is really nice. I like having the backup camera. I like having the passcode to start it. If I'm leaving it out on a job site or something like that. The size of it's nice and maneuverability in the woods. Yeah, so, so far it's been great. And I'm no, not sponsored by Kubota. I would love to be, you know, but don't have that. Um, yeah, ran some Bobcats when I was looking, ran some cats. I run to Gucci's. You know, I've looked at everything and I'm no, I'm not partial to any brand really. I love John Deere. I was thinking of John Deere and I just, the new ones are so expensive and I, I just like this cab better. I don't know. Even I saw a 333G, which is probably no, more than I need right now. And I liked it, but I like the big square cab. And I like the door open. I know I'm probably being repetitive with that, but that's a simple, stupid thing, but when you're running all day, it's pretty nice hopping in and out. If you have a load up, getting in and out. So, yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you're looking for a Gabota, I'd say pull the trigger. If you're looking for something else and it suits you better, go for that too. Um, yeah, I just wish I had a review of this specific new model when I was looking. So, thanks guys. As you can see, I got the Merriman Racing, Merriman Ranch brand. But it's a Merriman Racing hat on. If you see my racing videos, you see that I'm not very patient when it comes to video editing. I'm going to try to do a little better job on this, but it probably won't be that great either. Um, but if you guys like what you're seeing, like, subscribe, comment. Keep following along. I'm going to start putting up some more stuff. You know, me and the kid messing around, going racing, doing a lot of farm stuff, making hay in the summer. Uh, I should get another drone. The drone went out. But uh, yeah, we get some cool shots around here. A couple of buddies shot videos of me making hay and stuff like that. Turned out pretty good. I'll put them up so you guys can see them. Um, yeah, we got a pretty good spot here.